Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Boulder Dash. This is a game that you probably have seen on some system or another over the years. It has been ported on many systems, uh, but interestingly enough, was first ported or first developed for the Atari 8 bit computer. Now, I feel like we don't play a lot of games that originated on the Atari 8-bit, so I'm excited to play this one on its original uh, hardware. And just as a small tip of the hat to the old Canada, um, this game was developed by Canadian. I don't know what else there is to say, so there we go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and actually start the game up for ourselves. So, this is by Peter Lipa with Chris Gray's help. Don't know what either of them did, but here's Boulder Dash. Again, a kind of game you've probably seen many times before. You have a little dude. He looks like an ant person, actually. He blinks and taps his foot. That's very Sonic the Hedgehog uh, to tap your foot when you're waiting. But we have limited time, so I should, I guess, sort of get a move on. So you basically just dig around rocks. If you dig directly under a rock, it will fall. Oh, God! And a bunch of rocks can fall simultaneously. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this. This is a death trap! Oh, God! <laughs> okay, I screwed up hard there. So, kind of a, a little bit of a puzzle game mixed with Dig Dug, basically. And, you know what? I don't actually know the timeline of which came first. Was it this game, or was it the Dig Dug? Crap! No, why am I doing this? Okay. Wow, you know... I feel like sometimes, and I have this st this uh, stereotype too, I feel like sometimes it feels like old games are so simple that they're just inherently easier. But like sometimes that is definitely not true. And I feel like we're seeing it with Boulder Dash here, where just because it's old does not make it an easy game. Um, oh god, oh god. Very interesting, actually. It, it, it is much more fast-paced than Dig Dug. When I checked out a video of this to see what the game was about before I started to record today... Oh god! Oh god! I, uh... <laughs> oh my god! I, uh, looked at it and I was like, okay, it looks pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy, but I think watching somebody play doesn't do justice to the chaos that actually ensues when you are playing yourself. It is a very, actually, surprisingly, fairly, I wouldn't say stressful, but oddly action-packed game. So anyway, uh, we'll see how far we can actually get in this today. Um, so it's interesting, if you dig under a boulder, like this one here, it will fall. Um, if you dig under, oh god, power-ups as well, they will also fall. Also, boulders and power-ups can, like, roll off of each other. Oh, game over. Okay, we will try this again. So let's go hop back in here. We're gonna have to get good at beating level one so we can actually see the, the farther levels. Um, but, it, you know what? It's, it's not that the things falling screws me up, but it's the fact that things will roll off of one another that is actually doing the screwing. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god. Sometimes it just sort of feels a bit Indiana Jones-ish, where it's like there's just, you know a bunch of boulders are going to be falling behind you, and you just are going to try and run your way out of trouble. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, I thought a boulder was going to try and roll on me there, but it did not. Okay, I think we're good. Let me just get out of here like this! Oh god! <laughs> that is crazy. I don't fully, I guess I'm not fully uh, able to predict how the rolls are going to go. I can see boulders falling, but rolling? I don't 100% understand that mechanic yet, so I can't really predict where things are going to roll. And that is throwing me for a loop a little bit. Um, oh, like, I didn't think that thing was going to roll off. Okay, this is a dead end. Nothing there. So it's interesting how some levels are more mazes than others. Um, like, if I just do that... Okay. Oh, what is that? Do I want that, or do I not want that? I'm guessing I want it. Nope, I did not wait. How are we supposed to actually do that then? Interesting. Okay, well... Oh, there's a path upward over here, I see. Okay. Whoa, what does ha heck just happened? Oh, you, wait, you can push boulders? Didn't know that. Okay, we're learning things. You can actually push boulders out of the way, so it's a bit of Sokoban mixed in here. 
sort of like Dig Dug meets Sokoban. It's Indiana Jones. Go cool, like how they got some screen scroll in here. So I guess you can't push. Oh god! I was gonna say when there's one on top of the other. But you totally can. Huh. This is a much more advanced game, oddly enough, than I was expecting. Um, so yeah, this premiered on the Atari 8-bit home computer system. And that is not a home computer system that um, I ever knew about as a kid. Um, so I knew about the Amiga. My cousins had a Commodore 64. That's where I played the great Gianna sisters back in the day. Um, we gotta go one more here. That. Oh, God. Something like this. There we go. Push! There we go, you made it. Okay, something exploded. I don't know what's supposed to happen now. Is there anywhere else we could go? Oh, there it is. There's our exit. I'm gonna go down this way, in fact. We did it! Hmm, that was kind of cool. That was like a neat little maze level. Um, I guess I was expecting the levels to be fairly linear, but they're definitely not. This one's getting very complex. Look at this web of mazes. I wonder how many levels this game has. It could be literally anything. You know, back back in the day, these old games, they could have five levels, uh, or they could have, like, 500, you know? It was just totally unpredictable. Um, do that. Jesus is... Oh, God. Actually making me think. I'm also wondering if you can, like, trap yourself. It seems like you potentially could. Oh god, oh god. Okay, here we go. There we go. I think I'm starting to understand the rolling- Oh god, oh! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I don't know how I survived that. Should I go to the right over here? I guess so. Um... But yeah, anyway, I, uh, I, I didn't know anyone who had an Atari 8-bit, uh, growing up as a kid. Uh, I knew people with, like, a, a Commodore, oh god, um, and I knew of the Amiga. Didn't know about the Atari 8-bit. I mean, frankly, I just only knew Atari as a, uh, um, as a game console producer. Crap! I thought I was getting so good at predicting those, uh, roles. But I, I was not, clearly. Um, yeah, I only knew Atari as a company that produced game consoles. In fact, I don't even know if I really understood that they were an arcade company when I was little. Um, because back when the Atari was a thing, like, I was little. Like, I wasn't that old. Like, the... Oh, shoot. Um, Atari came out in what? Like, early 80s? Like, that's around the time I was born. Um... So for me, like, the NES was out when I was, uh, uh, old enough to actually appreciate video games. Uh, the Atari, I do remember playing it, and I did love it every time I did get a chance to play it, but it, like, wasn't the system that I played with my friends after school or anything, because I was just way too, uh, young. Um, wait, how do we actually get in there? Okay, I feel like we actually have to cause an avalanche to get into this tiny little area here. So, let's see if we can do this without killing ourselves. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> Just... Try and stay there where it's safe. Oh, get out of the way! Oh my god! Those avalanches are actually kind of fun. Oh shoot, what did I do? I'm gonna go like this! And then I'm gonna go like this! And like this! Run, run, run! Okay, no avalanche there. Jeez. It's- it's so interesting how it really does simulate an avalanche- OH GOD! OH MY GOD! <laughs> OH! WHAT DID I DO?! What did I walk into? Was there a mine? I totally- I wasn't paying enough attention, I didn't see a thing. Wow. So this is level three, and it- it already feels like a significant scale in difficulty has occurred. Makes me think this is one of those, like, five level games. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this and this and this. Hope we don't die, oh my god. I think we can just do this. And we have trapped ourselves. We're literally screwed. No! I feel like I'm trapped by uh, a bunch of strawberry shortcakes because I'm on the pink level. We literally screwed ourselves. Alright, back to the title screen. 
Well, if we can pass level three, I'll feel like we've uh, achieved something right now. Um, anyway, let's give this game another shot. Um, I feel like this early level now seems really basic by comparison. I, it's hard. It's funny to imagine that I actually had difficulty with this first level. I don't think. <laughs> Jesus, reset! You guys didn't see that. You didn't see a thing. Um. Wait, what? What level am? I, wait. Uh, how did this happen? Okay, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh god! What do I do? Okay, let's just get another one. Oh no! Oh god! Wait. How are you supposed to do that? Okay, you just have to go one after the other. What level am I on? I, I don't know how I did this. I secretly warped to level infinity. It turns out this is a challenging level. Oh my god, that was the worst time to go for that thing. Okay, this is sort of giving me, uh, it's reminding me a bit of Super Mario Brothers 2, because the digging is reminding me of, like, digging in the sand, and the bad guy thing here, whatever it is that we're encountering, reminds me of, uh, the, what? The key thing that, uh, you know, the Phantos mask that would chase you if you picked up a key. Um, how did we do that? Oh, I can select the cave with my joystick. I selected cave E. That is a bad cave. What about cave I? What the heck? Wait, how do you even get in there? Look at this madness. Okay, so this is the kind of game that has infinite levels. How the hell does this even work? Oh god. Oh, I'm trapped. Okay. Uh, let's just start on Cave I, or A. Those crazy levels look crazy, but it... So the game starts off sort of like uh, an action game with very limited puzzling, but it looks like those later levels are all puzzle. We have to think, like, which piece do I grab and in what order in order to do things. I kind of like the more action-based levels here that we're starting off with. I'm going to stick with them. Like this. Like, there still is a little bit of puzzling in terms of figuring out the optimum path to cause the smallest avalanche in your wake. There we go. Okay, and I think you don't actually have to collect all the uh, gems. Because just a few gems ago, my screen flashed, and I'm pretty sure that means the exit has appeared. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it probably means. Oh god, avalanche. <laughs> All right, well, we did the first level without taking damage, without dying, so it's significant. All right. So this one. So I wonder what the point of that square actually is. Like, if there's absolutely anything that you can do with it. There must be a way to detonate it. Maybe if you get it to chase you and you, like, drop a rock on it. So let's just... Try this. It didn't work. Oh, maybe I could squish it. Oh, it's gone. Okay. I feel like there is a way to, to use that thing to detonate a wall and, like, create a shortcut for yourself, but... Clearly the gameplay mechanics are a bit above me. Wow, I didn't even know I caused an avalanche there. Um... So... Oh, God. Again, sometimes... I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with the mechanics here. But sometimes those uh, rolls, the board, the one boulder rolling off another, does so in a way that I wasn't anticipating, and it kind of almost screws me up. So far, we're surviving based on luck alone, and I'd rather be lucky than good, frankly. Um, how do you do this one again? Oh yeah, you have to cause an avalanche. There we go. Do that. There we go. Okay, so I think once you do that, that means that the exit has appeared. And it is time to GTFO. And off we go. Boom! We boulder dashed? Oh, I get it. Boulder dash, because there's boulders. Wow. 
You know, for years and years, I knew the name Boulder Dash, but I guess I sort of thought of it like... It sounded like an old card game to me, like, oh, Boulder Dash, you know, like it's... Uh, it just sort of sounded old-timey and not about anything in particular, so I didn't really know what, oh god, what it was about. But I now understand there are boulders and you must dash or you'll die. They should call it dash or die in Boulderland. That would make a lot more sense, I think. Okay. I'm, oh god. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm going to try and just pass this level minimally. I think this boulder to the right over here, behind this wall, I think it's more trouble than it's worth. I'm only going to come back if I, oh god, absolutely need it. Go get all these. Do this. Do this. Oh god, stay under the blocks! I feel like I'm going to trap myself somehow if I keep just sort of going aimlessly. Because I think you, you definitely can trap yourself. I mean, I did it in this playthrough already. In fact, did I cordon off the left side of the map? Stupidly. Oh, God. Um, oh, no, you can still get over here. Okay, good. This one and this one. This one. Oh, God. This one and this one. Oh, my God. Yeah, I wasn't ex expecting the one way up here to fall. Okay, now the question is Can I do this? So oh, you can. Oh god, oh god. Okay, did I trap myself? I did not. Okay, thank god. Um we st the level's still not over. I guess I have to go for these ones. Push no, I don't wanna hold on. What if I do this? Oh, there's... Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, no! I almost screwed myself! Oh, I tried to go down and... <laughs> Damn it! Man, level... C... Or 3, or whatever the hell level I'm on is brutal. It's interesting how they don't give you, like, a handful of levels before things start to get really tricky. It's just like, you're in it, buddy. Welcome to the 80s. For computer games, we're not for the faint of heart. Oh! I think I just completed the level somehow. I will take it. Where's the exit? No, it's not on this side. Okay, it's on the right side. Run for it. Oh god, oh god. Go, go, go. Uh, go. Where's the stupid exit? It must, like, hold on to your points from the previous lives where you died so that, uh... Oh god, oh, it's going down there. Shoot, where is the exit on this level? I haven't seen it at all. Oh, I trapped myself over here. Oh god, oh god, dash! Boulder dashing! Uh, I guess I gotta go down like this. Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's actually tense. Okay, let's just keep going down this way. It's gotta be down and to the right, I hope. Gotta be over here. Nope, it is not. Where is this exit? So confused. Oh, God! Keep getting these things. There you go. Um... Can I even go... Back this way, God! Okay. They should call this Avalanche Game. Um... So wait, is the exit to the bottom left? Oh, I only have 17 seconds left to figure this out. Alright, we're going for it. We're going bottom left and we gotta go fast. So, uh... Godspeed, little guy. Oh no, I have 25 seconds left. Uh, that did not go the way I wanted. Um, oh god. Where's this exit? <laughs> Wait. Maybe collecting those things did not unlock the exit. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Ah! Out of time! 
I think I, I think you do actually have to collect all the things. Maybe the, uh... Maybe what I saw was like, I got an extra life. Okay, I gotta go faster. Okay, I guess... Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna see the end of this level, to be honest. It's a... Oh, God. And we're trapped. <laughs> Fuck me. Getting this one in the corner is really hard. Okay, well, since we're clearly not going to be able to pass Cave C, let's jump to Cave M. <laughs> Give this one a shot. Oh, this one looks actually not too bad. What is that thing to the right, though? Like, what is this? No idea what that is. Oh, it's slowly growing. Oops. Well, it's interesting that they have a variety of mechanics here, actually. But uh, let's see if we can actually pass a level here. It almost seems like a boss level or something, where there's like uh, a formless void that's chasing me and filling up my tunnel. Maybe I'm supposed to kill it? Oh, what is all that stuff? Okay, I'm gonna try and go down there. How about we just go straight down? Nice easy route for Ant Boy. Because he looks like he's half ant, half boy. Oh god. Oh, those are... Wait, those exploded into gems? Game over. Okay, hold on, let's try that level one more time. It's interesting how it lets you warp ahead by like 10 levels at a time. Is there anything else on this level? There's not. So what are you trying to do? I guess you're... I didn't even touch it, I just got close to it. I guess what you're trying to do is get the green thing to follow you? Okay, let's try this. This way, green thing. Follow me. Is it following me? Sort of. Oh god. You're gonna leave it a nice clear path to follow me. And then, we're gonna get close-ish to this thing. Oh, what if we do this? Oh, look! We're freeing all the butterflies! A thousand butterflies have been freed. Oh, I understand! Those butterflies want to kill you! I get it. So the reason I died when I this is they chase you. Okay, hold on. I have an... I have an idea. You must be able to kill these things by having rocks drop on them. So I have a little bit of an idea here. I'm probably gonna be terrible at getting rocks to drop on them, but... Down here like that. Clear that out. And let's go, butterflies! Okay, we're freeing them all. They should be able to start coming out the other side. Now, the question is, can I cause strategic avalanches to actually kill them? See, there they are. Oh, man. They want me dead, too. Um... Okay, here we go. Let's dance, suckers! Oh, we got some! We actually got some. Oh, wait, a gem fell on me and killed me. Okay, so not only can the boulders fall on you and kill you, but so can the gems. Wow, that is hard. You know what's weird is that, like, that level's not hard necessarily because it's impossible, but it's hard because, like, my brain doesn't work that way. Like, I, I feel like I would have to play this a lot to get good at setting up traps. It's almost like... It's almost like a version of Tetris or Dr. Mario now, where, like, you have to have... Uh, these boulders fall in specific ways um, on top of these bu butterfly creatures. Huh. Very fascinating, actually. I don't think we're going to be good enough at it to actually pass this level, but it was fun to kill a butterfly, so let's try again. I mean, I know in Dig Dug you could totally, uh... Oh god, oh god. Oh god, okay, that didn't work at all. In Dig Dug, you could totally kill guys by having rocks fall on them. Crap. 
Um, but that was sort of like a bonus, and it feels like it was easier to get the rocks to fall on them in that than this. Wonder if it's simpler to go to the left. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Causing avalanches as we go. Oh god, no, it is simpler to go to the right. Alright, well, this level is way too hard. We'll give it one more shot, but then, uh, I think maybe we'll just revert to the earlier levels and... No, I was gonna say give Cave C one more shot. Maybe we will, but I also do not feel optimistic and feel like maybe... I mean, for this one, it's such a simple game, we could probably start wrapping our thoughts up on it. Or I could wrap my thoughts up on it. You guys may have different thoughts than me. Imagine that. Um, okay, can I crush one of these butterflies? Or butterfly, I'm waiting for you. Die! Oh, one got out! Oh no! <laughs> he exploded me into gems. Well played, butterfly, well played. Alright, well, there's absolutely no way I'm passing that. Um... Boulder Dash here, one of the games of the book of thousand video games you must play before you die. Um, more action packed than I would have thought. To be, if I'm being totally honest, came into this one a little biased. I looked at a screenshot, watched a little bit of gameplay, and I was like, "What's so hard about that?" I've seen this. I've seen games like this all over the place. Looks pretty basic, pretty easy. Should be an easy play. Um, it was. I think it was a simple play in that I understand the mechanics of this game almost right away, but it's actually a faster paced game than I was giving it credit for, and, uh... Yeah, oh my god. Um, yeah, it, it is kind of cool that there's a bit of this fast-paced action in the game. Now, in terms of the levels, though... Ooh, excuse me, I do think, uh, that these, uh, these levels ramp up in difficulty really quick. So, I know there have been many sequels and modern interpretations and ports and stuff of this game, so I imagine some of them do this, but it would be nice to see a slower progression to the harder difficulties, um, rather than jumping right to it, you know, rather than going from this to, like, a thousand. Because I feel like the third level starts to get really challenging, or much more challenging with the position of the rocks and stuff, and then it's the time limit that really kills it. If this game didn't have a time limit and you could take a little bit more time, or the time limit was just more generous, I feel like the third level would be a lot more doable. But the third level, the thing that's hard about it is not getting all the pieces. The thing that's hard is you have to do it all in one flawless run. Um, so there's a couple of ways you could make this, you know, add a few things to help make the game a little friendlier to novices, and that is to... Uh, uh, give yourself checkpoints or something so that you didn't have to always start from scratch if you screwed up or Reduce the time limit or just you know, I would love to see more levels again before we got to the third cave um, Oh, I'm missing something. I missed oh, I missed gems over here There we go easy um, So yeah, I mean all in all I actually do like the gameplay in this um, and it seems solid enough uh, for an older school game. Um, but yeah, more levels would be nice. Okay, let's, since we made it here, let's see if I can put my money where my mouth is and see if I can actually do this one. Okay. So what we want... Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just have a bunch of these fall. Oh my god, <laughs> okay. There we go, problem solved. Alright, we got that random gem that was sort of in the way. Um, okay, so let's go to the right, and then we will sort of loop our way uh, down after. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we got that one. One up here. If we didn't lock ourselves in over here, which we just may have. Son of a biatch. Oh, God. Oh, we didn't lock ourselves in. Okay. I think we can just get the hell out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The tension is real. The boulder dashing is real. Okay. 
controlled avalanches. I don't know how to get over to the left there, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh god. So, like, you just gotta keep moving. If you keep moving, you're, you're safer than if you stand still for a second. Okay, the question is, can I get over to the left still? Or have I locked that off? Um, I guess I can get around this way. I can get over to the left. Okay. That's okay. Okay, oh god. Jesus. That is tense, man. Okay, oh god. Don't kill me, boulders. Don't kill me, boulders. Oh, is this the last one? Yes, I did it! Okay, that actually wasn't too hard, but the question is, where the hell's the exit? Is it over here near the entrance? Nine seconds left for, to find it. Oh god. Where's the- No! <laughs> Where's the exit? Where's the- You son of a bitch! <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. Alright, well we can pass this level. No idea where the exit is, but as a proof of concept, it can be passed. Anyway, Boulder Dash, one of the games of Book of Thousand Video Games. Uh, you must play before you die. What do you guys think of this one? Did you play it back in the day? Do you have fond memories? Do you have tips and tricks? Where the hell is the exit on Cave C? Let me know in the comments down below, and I just trapped myself. Um, <laughs> hopefully, whatever you think of this game, um, I did, uh, you know, bring you some nostalgia here today. If I did, don't forget to like the video. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, I'll just be trapping myself in caves with avalanches, and you take care of yourselves. Peace.